YouTube, it's Trey, doing a little quick video, and y'all wonder why the camera don't shake no more, as I've done a video, I've had it maybe a year, maybe not quite a year, this tripod at the West, as Mr. and Mrs. West has sent me, and I'm using it, I appreciate it, I love it, but I want to show y'all, this is my walking stick, my cane, and I got to redo this wrap, I put a little camouflage wrap just for comfort, but I just like it. I got a little cushion thing where you can walk in stores with it. But this is what I walk with when I go to have to go in Home Depot or Walmart. I don't go to Walmart often. Maybe once every two months or so. I don't like Walmart. I worked for them for 20 years at the distribution center. But anyway, I had, I've had this pipe pole. Y'all can see it starts here and goes to here. It's a shower curtain, a shower curtain. It's a curtain rod. It ain't a shower curtain rod, it's wood. But uh, I've had it, and I've been cleaning out this, uh, Mama calls it the man cave. It's a shop Daddy had built onto the back of the house years ago, and it's where the pump house is, where I was wanting to, I'm gonna try to get me a hand pump. They will use it when I need it, but anyway. We it's closing it's a pretty good large area. I will show it to you. It's just it's ha haven't been kept up since Daddy left this world and uh have neglected it big time. Well I'm turning all that around and uh so I'm gonna start uh cleaning it up, making it work. That's gonna be in my little workshop. But that ain't what this video is about. The video is about what I did to this curtain rod. I'm making it a walking stick to walk over in the woods. I got one on my tractor. It's a bamboo. So I just thought this would be something a little better. It's got duct tape from here to the end. It's got duct tape all wrapped around it. Then I wrap cordage. I got about, it's uh, from here to here, it's about two and a half foot of, uh, uh, paracord I got an old boot string in case I break my boot string there's a boot string right here and it's about three foot to three and a half foot of just cheap nylon braided line that you need in the paints and then I just uh, covered it with this uh, medical camouflage medical tape that I bought at uh, from wish.com uh, years ago well I say years ago probably a year ago and this is bank line, it's a neon bank line. I had some bank line left. When mom and them's roof got damaged down there at her uh, house, we covered it with tarp and used this bank line to hold the tarp on the house so the roofer could come and fix it. Cause I mean, it was supposed to be, you know, coming storms and all, that's been, anyway, the roof is done now and all. But anyway, I don't know who, who took the tarp down or what they did with all the bank line that was on there, but. This is something I had left. I had it on my camping uh, knife I would take. It's black. And they keep from losing it. But I took it off that and decided to put it on my night, uh, on my walking stick. So if I'm having to go look for calves or whatever, I have it. But that's all this video was about. I was going to show y'all this. Something I thought about. It ain't as nice as Mr. James over at... Uh, uh, old school with a modern twist. He does some awesome. I'm gonna put his link in the description. Y'all don't know Mr. James Humbert. He's in Ohio, but he does some awesome walking stitch, y'all. Carvings. Oh my goodness. He's a homesteader. He's got his own little area. He's built a cabin, smokehouse. Awesome man. He's got a black, uh, blacksmith shop. Uh, you name it, homestead. He he's just about does. He knows how to do it. He's learning how to do it. Awesome felder. But anyway, I'm gonna put his and I'm gonna put Wes and Mrs. Wes's link in the description because I call I talk to them about the tripod. You know, uh, I just want to share their information. I'm pretty sure all my subscribers know them and have subscribed to them. But just in case. But I love y'all. Y'all have a great day. God bless y'all. Take care.